Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Daniel Rodriguez versus Alex Morono. Daniel Rodriguez, Daniel Rodriguez, 17 and five. He's two and three in his last five fights on his three fight losing streak. Lost to Neil Magny in a fight that he was absolutely winning. Fumbled the bag there. Got destroyed by Ian Machado. Gary kind of quit in that one. And then got beat up by Kelvin Gaston for three rounds. Minus 205 favorite for Rodriguez. 37 years old. 6'1 with a 74 inch reach. Fighting Alex Morano, who's 24 and 10. He's 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Plus 170 underdog for Morano. 34 years old. 5'11 with a 72 inch reach. 2 inch reach advantage for Rodriguez. The biggest thing for me in this matchup is I just don't think Rodriguez is that same guy. I don't think Rodriguez is the same dude that was on that big win streak when he came first came to the UFC. I just don't think that. I thought he lost the, the leech fight, so that'd be four losses in a row. I, I just don't think he's been the same dude. The Kevin Lee fight, he was already slipping. The Preston Parsons one, he got a finish, but Parsons is okay. Mike Perry, he beat up, but still not really that guy. The last time he was really that guy was Dwight Grant. Right after the Gabe Green one, right after the Tim Means one. Tim Means one was his best performance by a landslide. And then he actually got hurt in the Grant, Dwight Grant fight and came back and finished him. But again, I, I know people are shitting on Morono because of his fight with um, um, Nico Price. But I, that, that was a very, very bad fight. I, I will 100% agree with you. And there's no argument on that one. I just still think Morono is still better than this version of Daniel Rodriguez. He's slower. He's more flat-footed. His reactions are worse. Morono has a very, very good overhand right. And again, I, I just don't see Rodriguez getting out of the way. I think he gets hurt, and I think Morono submits him with his patent guillotine. There's been a couple of times where he's been losing fights. Like the Tim Means one, he's 13-7-1 in the UFC. He's 13 finishes out of his 24 wins. He only he has four finishes in the UFC, and that is recently. Like he was losing to Tim Means pretty decisively, guillotines him. I thought he beat Court McGee. People didn't agree with that decision. I thought he beat him pretty handedly. He was beating Santiago Ponzinibbio, and then he was crushed with a big uh, overhand right in round number three. Just kept moving back on a straight line, you know. Again, though, I I, I like Morano. I, I still like him. I don't like this version of Rodriguez. It just seems a matter of time where he's gonna get absolutely slept. 37 is real in that style that he has. It just, it's not translating the way it used to. His reactions are, aren't there as they used to be. I, 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 I don't like Rodriguez at this stage in his career to beat Morono. I know, I know, I know. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.